Mass shooting. When I think of mass shootings, literally the first thing that comes to mind is what happened in New Zealand. Because before I even found out about it, I had a dream and then I woke up very sad. And um, I literally grieved like I have never grieved before. And I've never grieved so much until I heard and like I heard about it and it really affected me. I feel like someone that was at that mosque, I was supposed to meet them. Like even talking about it, yeah, it hurts. Mass shooting, oh, painful, very painful. They left their homes, they said goodbye to their family, not knowing that they're not going to back to them again. Sadness, sadness, sadness. Disappointed. Just the news itself was so heavy and it was just too much. Heartbreaking. And like any other murder attack like that, it's, it's heartbreaking whenever lives were taken, especially when they were in a worship place. Tragic, pointless, careless. Really depressing. I can't believe that it happens. Um, it's scary too. You know when it hits you that wow, like you could actually lose your life because you're a Muslim? Imagine going to a place of prayer and just expecting to have a regular day and then dying. It's messed up. Mosques are supposed to be a space of peace and a place that people go to get tranquility. It should never be a place where people are scared to go to. Especially, it's, it's the mosque is known as the house of God and the house of God is to be a protection for humankind, for anyone really. And the fact that people are using mosques as a target to lash out on their feelings towards Muslims and Islam is, it is very scary. Mosque shooting. Terror. Because I feel like that's a place that should be holy and where you feel at peace and you're vulnerable. And it just strikes terror into my heart to think that there's a mosque shooting. They were misled by the media. They could not know the truth. Hate crime. Uh, it's still hurts to think that there are people who think that we are not peaceful. It hurts for me to think that the person who approached the shooter said Salam, peace. That's the first thing, that's the core of Islam, Salam, and still dying. It's unnecessary. And if we acknowledge that the people who are doing it are the real terrorists, I think we're, we're going to get one step closer to working towards resolving it. Mosque shooting. Terrorism. The word terrorism uh, unfortunately has sometimes uh, connotations that it means one group of people uh, or one religious identity, but uh, mosque shooting, whether it was what happened to us in this country in Quebec um, three years ago or what happened most recently in Christchurch in New Zealand, is terrorism. It, it is, it literally rips the hearts of the people all around the world. Mosques, like churches, like synagogues, like temples, um, are places of uh, worship. They are sacred. They are sanctuaries where people should find peace, not only physical peace, but also mental and emotional peace, and should be continued to be protected as sanctuaries. Mosque shooting? <sighs> I was actually in my workplace when I first heard about it. I could feel myself <laughs> being angry. I couldn't believe something like that on that scale could happen. The person as well sort of filmed it. I didn't understand why he would film it and just sort of broadcast it live. Didn't understand why Facebook with all its policies allowed that to continue, for example. I mean, I'm sure they've got all sorts of amazing algorithms that could have picked up on those things, could have flagged them for, for immediate takedown, but they didn't. So I think um, in that moment, I just sort of felt slight anger, but also helplessness as, you know, I can't help, you know, uh, for, firstly, human beings, but also just my fellow brothers and sisters. Mosque shooting. Disgusting. Hatred. You took time to think about should I or should I not commit this act, right? So at the same time, you couldn't take the time out to go and learn about the religion and think, oh, 
is this religion really bad should i really be putting harm towards all these random innocent people that i don't even know i don't know what's going on in their lives i don't know what's happening with them if you took the time to think about should i commit this act you couldn't have took the time to think about what is the religion about and i bet you if you did learn about what the religion is about from a proper scholar you probably wouldn't have committed those acts so it just it frustrated me for what you're ignorant and you're not educated. Now, how does it feel when you go to masjids? I feel like if I'm going to go worship and you want to kill me for that, then go ahead. <laughs>